What's up guys, Jimmy here with another Lots of Games video. So I have a couple really important things to share with you guys. First off, I wanted to just share with you guys a quick story. Uh, a lot of you guys already know I've been a big fan of gaming ever since I was a child. Uh, and that flame kind of ignited into something really serious uh, when I was first introduced to an NES. I'll never forget, eventually, it took a while for me to get an NES. I got one one year for Christmas, after two or three years after I was first introduced uh, to the Nintendo Entertainment System. And for a long time, I only had Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, uh, you know, that combo cartridge, and I played Super Mario Brothers for countless hours, countless hours. But whenever I would go to the grocery store, uh, with my parents, I would go to the magazine rack and I'd check out the different gaming magazine. I would just obsess over all these incredible, amazing games. And I thought, man, it'd be great to be able to get some of these games. And at the time, you know, I didn't have, I, you know, kid, totally broke, totally poor, had no money at all. But I saw the games that I wanted to play and I'm like, man, if, if I had the money, I would get these games. I would check them out. I would play them. Um, one day my luck turned uh, for the better. I'll never forget uh, my Aunt Carolyn. She said that she wanted to spend the day with my sister and me in San Francisco. She's She was an author and she was, I guess, doing like a book tour and an honor stop in San Francisco and she had to meet with her publisher there. We met at a hotel and she's like, hey, you know, let's go to FAO Shorts, which is this huge toy store. There's one of them, I think, in New York. And so we went to FAO Shorts and it was this incredible amazing toy store. It was multiple stories of each store was just packed to the gills with toys and on one of the levels was video games and I was just so excited. I said to my Aunt Caroline, hey let's go look at these Nintendo games. I was telling her about all the different games that I knew about and she looked at me and she said, hey Jimmy, why don't you uh, go ahead and pick one out. I'll buy one for you. And when she told me that, I my you know, my jaw probably hit the floor because I couldn't, I'd never heard anything like this before. Uh, you know, I only had Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt for the longest time, and someone was actually offering to buy me a game. And she said, yeah, go ahead, pick out any game you want, and I'll buy it for you. And, you know, at that moment, I knew exactly what I was going to get. I ended up getting uh, Mega Man 2, and I spent countless hours on that game. Still to this day, one of my favorite not only my one of my favorite NES games of all time, but one of my favorite video games of all time. And I'll never forget when I had my copy of Mega Man 2 and I was driving home from the toy store, I had Mega Man 2 tucked safely in my jacket pocket, keeping it safe, guarding it with my life. And I know this might sound kind of weird, but I remember driving home, I was thinking about a lot of things, but I remember thinking about on how I wonder if there are other people in the world that have a gaming obsession like myself or are into games like me. Well, I got a big answer to that question when I started this YouTube channel. When I started the Lots of Games channel, I realized that there are people like me all around the world that love games, love talking about games, always love playing games, love collecting games. And not too long ago, I started episodes for super cheap games and it has been a whole lot of fun doing this. You know, as I mentioned earlier, when I first had my NES, I only had Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, and I didn't have a lot of games. Fortunately, today, you can get games on the cheap. You don't have to spend 30, 40, or 60 dollars on every game that you buy. And with the episodes for super cheap games, so far I have done six episodes for super cheap PS3 games and six episodes for Xbox 360 games. And each episode I talk about eight different games you can get on the cheap. So, you know, quick math, 48 games for the Xbox 360 and 48 games for the PlayStation 3. That's 96 games that I've had the chance to talk about with you guys, games you can get on the cheap. And I hope you guys have enjoyed these episodes as much as I have creating them. And to be honest, guys, I want to continue to make episodes for super cheap games for you guys, not just for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I want to be able to do episodes for the PlayStation 2, GameCube, NES, for lots of different platforms. and we do more episodes and also other things. And there's something I want to share with you. I not too long ago, guys, opened up my own Patreon campaign. I have my own page 
that you can check out. I'll have a link in the video description below. And what Patreon is, it's basically comparable to Kickstarter or Indiegogo. But the big difference is instead of doing this Kickstarter and getting a lot of money for one big project or one big thing, it's like an ongoing funding that takes place. And it's basically like a relationship between the creator and the consumer. If you guys are uncomfortable about funding a project like this, by all means, do not contribute to it. If you're in no position to do so, please don't feel guilty at all. This is not what that is about. What I am saying, if you are in a position to, con to contribute to this campaign, I would please suggest that you check it out, see if it's the right fit for you, if it's something that you can do. Basically, for around the price that you would pay for a super cheap game, you can help fund the future creations that I have for YouTube. When I first started making videos on YouTube, I started doing uh, unboxing videos for collector edition games. I started doing unboxing videos for games like Oblivion and Mass Effect and, and the Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And when I uploaded those videos, they're actually the first of their kind. No one else had done unboxing videos for those collector editions. Today, unboxing videos are commonplace. Some of these large gaming websites receive these new collector editions for games, sometimes days or weeks in advance, and they do unboxing videos for these collector editions um, long before these games hit retail shelves, which is a little bit frustrating to me in the sense that a lot of times these games are being unboxed by people at these large gaming websites, and I know a lot of these people probably care less about the games that they're unboxing for. You know, the games that I do unboxing videos for, I care a lot about. And also with these large gaming websites and myself, you know, one of the big differences is these large gaming websites have dozens of employees at their disposal. They have a lot of resources. So if a camera breaks or a computer breaks, they can usually replace it pretty quickly. Not too long ago, a camera broke, the camera that I use for filming YouTube videos, um, and I had to end up, you know, it took a long time for me to save to get a new camera. And that was really frustrating to me that I couldn't continue to do the things that I wanted to do. Not too long ago, I got my tax return and I ended up using that entire tax return on a computer so that I can edit and process videos. And I'm telling you guys, I was just so excited and grateful for the tax return that I got so that I was able to get a decent computer so able to make videos and it's made all the difference in the world with the filming and editing that takes place for these videos. And you know, there's a reason why I'm bringing up on about buying a new camera or a new computer. Simply put, when it comes to making videos for you guys, quality is something that I take very seriously. My number one priority and goal is to deliver to you guys, my subscribers and viewers, the best possible videos on gaming. And you guys, you deserve the best. And it's frustrating to me when my goal hits roadblocks and obstacles. With your support on Patreon, I can tell you that not only will you give me the resources to help me make my videos even better, but you will also, with your support, you're gonna help fuel and motivate me. Uh, so I know that you believe in the content that I make. Uh, from start to finish, it's not uncommon for me to spend over 20 hours on a single video. And once you support me on Patreon, you will have private access to my Patreon feed. And at this Patreon feed, I'll be posting updates, uh, photos, and access to exclusive videos. Some of these exclusive videos will include behind the scenes footage, uh, gaming stories, and then updates on future videos that I'm working on. At the $5 reward level, um, one of the rewards that you'll get, in addition to the private Patreon feed, I'm also going to send you out a postcard, mail you out a postcard uh, with a personal note from me. Uh, be warned that I've got the world's worst handwriting, so this should be interesting. If you guys love the videos that I make and want to help me with this work, with the videos that I create, then you should pledge to my Patreon. So guys, if you do want to become a patron to the Lots of Games channel, definitely check out my Patreon page when you get the chance. Again, the link is in the video description below. If you have any comments or questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.